Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, So Sweet Samuel. My name is Lindsay and I do believe this is episode 20. Today is the 22nd of February 2023. I have a new mug today that I'm going to um, just show you. I've had this mug for quite a while but I haven't been able to use it. I'm not sure if you can read what that says or whether that's reversed in your camera but it does say new grandma yes the baby has arrived uh, very pleased to announce the arrival of our grandson Rupert was born on Thursday last week 16th of February so Megan and Kane bought us these mugs for Christmas but we didn't open them until he was safely here so he was born last Thursday um, by cesarean section and he weighed in at seven pounds, 14 and a half ounces. And he is absolutely gorgeous. Um, they live up in Suffolk, which is about an hour and a half from us. So we're going up to see them um, tomorrow. I'll pick Samuel up from school and we'll head straight up there. So <clears throat> baby knitting has recommenced. I actually downloaded a pattern last Wednesday and I started knitting it um, uh, last Wednesday evening and I started knitting it in West Green Loft Yarns um, in the January Club colourway and it was um, a Petite Knits pattern, My Little Sister's Romper and it's absolutely gorgeous, really quick. Um, I would say it probably took me two evenings to knit I finished it yesterday, but I was away at the weekend. Um, I just need to find some diddy tiny buttons for it. But here it is. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I just need to get some little buttons for it. Uh, the ones I have are the handmade with love buttons. And I've got them in three different sizes. But I can only find, I think, probably the medium size at the moment. So when I finish recording this, I'll pop out to the summer house and drag them in or hunt them out and find them. Sam, um, Samuel, Milo's at the groomers at the moment. So I've just actually had a text pop up on my phone. He was due at 12, but um, I've just had a text to say he's finished. So I'll quickly do this and then I'll go and get him. But this is absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love this. Super quick knit, um, quite a neutral colorway. There is a little bit of pink in here, but it's very muted. I did the three to six months. Um, I'm not sure how long this will fit Rupert for, but hopefully she'll get a couple of wears out of it. But if she likes it, I will knit it again because it was an absolute delight to knit. I will knit some more and actually have these on standby for babies because it was just a joy. So I just need two buttons on the top strap and three buttons across the bottom. But I absolutely love knitting that. So that was Petite Knits Pattern, My Little Sister's Romper. And that probably took about 50 grams of four ply. I've got, I've got all of that left. So I doubt it even took 50 grams. I haven't weighed it, but I've got quite a lot left there. Probably enough to knit me a pair of socks with maybe contrast heels and cuffs, which is probably what I'll do with the leftovers. Um, but yeah absolute joy to knit that it called for three millimeter needles i didn't have three millimeter needles so i went up to three and a half but i don't think that matters really but beautiful and i love west york uh, west green loft yarn yarn anyway so that knitted up beautifully so i've just got to find the buttons to go on there my next finished object is um my pair of socks i had one finished Last time I saw you, this is knit in uh, Castleview yarn, but it was knit in um, a, a one of a kind yarn for our knitting group, the one with the knitting friends. And I use the crumple sock pattern, um, which was just uh, by Kay Jones. And it was just the most delightful pattern to knit. There's loads of colours in this sock, but I absolutely loved, love, 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 love the, um, the pattern. It was such an easy pattern. It was an interesting pattern, 
but it was such an easy pattern to knit. So I have two of those. Looks quite different knitted up plain on the foot. And then I also did, as I said to you, I'm going to do this year, did my little mini, my little mini sock as my little memory sock. Oh, <laughs> stupid person. <laughs> I've sewed in my end, my hanging end. I hadn't cut enough anyway. So I'm going to make a little um, crocheted hanging end. But I've sewn that in the bit I cut. <coughs> but it looks so different, doesn't it? Just in the plain, knitting the plain. So they are my only two finished objects, the baby romper and the socks. Um, I have got another sock on the go. And you won't see these finished because these are actually for my mum for her birthday. It's her birthday on Saturday. And I believe this is a Ducky Darling sock set um, <clears throat> that I bought last year. This, and I don't know the colour name. This is the mini that it came with. And this, this is the main sock, main yarn. I don't really think they go particularly well together, but I'm knitting it together, so we'll see. Um, and I'm just doing a vanilla sock for my mum because I, I wanted I casted this on um, I think I cast it on Thursday night to knit on the train because I was going to London on Friday morning so I just cast this on and I knit um, nearly to the heel on the train and then I didn't do any more till I got home Saturday night and I've done a slip stitch heel a flap and now I'm on I've done the decreases and now I'm on the foot so I've got to go some now to get this done but my mum knows that they might not be ready for her birthday on Saturday she doesn't mind they'll be done by <clears throat> Monday at the very latest but it's knitting up lovely but I just don't think the um the contrast colour I don't really think that goes with it I did two rounds of the contrast at the top of the rib I did a two by two rib. I started off by doing 60 rounds for the leg, but then I thought that was too short for my mum. So I've ended up doing 90 rounds for the leg. Then I've done the slip stitch heel and now I'm on the foot and I'll probably do six and a half inches for the foot before I do the toe decrease. And I'm going to do the same toe decrease that is on my crunkle socks, which I think is the umbrella toe which you can't really see very well on this because it's so obviously heavily patterned yarn. Um, but that was quite a quick toe decrease. So I can start wearing this pair now tomorrow. I've shown them to you. <coughs> and carry on with that pair now as well. Um, my um, uh, What's it called in here? My lovely bag from Paula from Stitch by Mrs D. Mm, my knit bent my anthology wrap throw throw it's not a wrap because it's too big to be a wrap isn't it it's living in my gorgeous bag from stitch by mrs d she's got another shop update today we were about to get yourself some a gorgeous bag if you want to um so last time i saw you i was down here I've done quite a lot, but obviously this has been put aside to one, finish my socks and then two, do Robin's um, uh, romper. So right down here. So I've done quite a lot. I've put in quite a few colours. The colour I'm putting in now, which is this one, should actually have been... <laughs> I think this colour should have been next, but this colour was hiding inside the throw. So this one snuck in first. So I'm going to have to put this one in next, but I don't think it really matters in the in the grand scheme of things. I don't think the yarn police are going to come and arrest me anytime soon, are they? So, But I'm loving this. This is quite a mindless knit, really. I can't really show it to you very well because it's, it's all bunched up on needles and it's knitting the round. So until it's finished, I can't really show you, but I am loving this. I said to you, oh, I can't really catch you now. Um, I said to you before, it is one I'm going to um, definitely be knitting again 
Oh, that's come off of there. That's not very good. It's one I'm definitely going to be knitting again. I hope to knit one for my mum and for my sister for Christmas this year because it's just a mindless knit. It's, it's, you know, it's very easy to knit. So I'm loving that, really, really loving that. So yeah, very nice, very nice knit. So, oops, back to that this afternoon. Um, I'm trying not to buy too much, but I have brought, I did buy a few patterns. Now, I think I said to you last time, I'd found a yarn shop near me that was going to teach or run a crocheting um, classes. And I was super excited and I was actually going to be going along today. I'd forgotten Myla was at the groomers today, so it wouldn't have worked anyway. Um... But then my friend texted me on uh, Sunday morning or Saturday to tell me that the shop's shutting down. So I'm not going to be going along to do that. So I'm just going to have to try and teach myself. I can crochet, so it's not an issue. I do know how to do it, but I just wanted to sit somewhere and do it with somebody. But I'm going to just do it myself. I've been watching, I've watched her for a long time, Sharon from The Knitting Project. And I love how she works, how she gets through all her projects. She has a rotation of projects every day. She has six projects on the go and every day she, she works on a different project. And in the following week, those projects all move on a day. So she's not doing the same project every single day. Um, and then she gets through everything. I don't know if I could do that, but because I don't know, I don't think I could do that. But I think what I'm going to have to do is it might be a case of, right, every morning while Samuel's having breakfast and getting ready for school and maybe when I first come back in from school, maybe I will do such and such. Uh, an acquisition I'm going to show you shortly, um, <clears throat> that will have to be my afternoon project because of the light I'm going to need. Um, maybe that's the way I'm going to get around doing them all, um, I think. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, Samuel had a birthday party on Saturday and um, where it was situated, I was going to come back past an Audi. Now, I am i don't know if I'm lazy or I don't like to waste petrol, or diesel. I won't go anywhere out of my way. <laughs> I don't know if that's being lazy or, or what. But on this particular day, I could come back past the new big Audi and I've never been in there but I kept getting notifications on my Facebook page to say that they had a sewing um, a special and they were selling the little small patchwork irons and I thought oh I'll pop in there and I'll get one for myself and I'll get one for my friend for Christmas well obviously I'd left it too late they didn't have any in there well as it transpires i've actually got a really small travel iron we've got a touring caravan and my lovely kind husband brought me an iron for the caravan it's never come out of the box never come out of the wrapper or anything so he brought that in from the caravan and i'm going to use that as my little patchwork iron certainly not ironing on holiday unless it's to do with sewing and that will do the job just as well but while i was in there i discovered they sold wool now, obviously, Audi, the wool is not going to be particularly good quality. But I saw some wool and I thought, actually, that would do to knit for my husband. Now, I've only ever knit my husband's socks because I don't think he's particularly knit worthy. I know he'll ruin anything I knit for him. But I quite liked the jumper and I thought the colours would suit him. And I was feeling really, really poorly this day. My pain was absolutely horrendous. I just felt ghastly. I was in an awful mood. The pain was so horrendous. I ended up having so much morphine that day and cocodamol and everything. I had every painkiller I could have that day. I just felt ghastly. In the end, I got sent to my room, which was quite good, actually, because I got sent to my room and I slept and knitted and read and things, but I got sent to my room. <laughs> And, um, but anyway, I was in Audi and I discovered they sold yarn. And it's not nice quality yarn by any stretch of the imagination. And I came home and I showed it to my husband. And I said, I'm gonna knit this for you. I said, um, 
it's only going to be in sheep yarn, but it will do for you to work. He's a plasterer, so I thought even if it gets right, rub it. <gasps> Covered in plaster, I said it doesn't matter. If you like it, I can then buy some nicer yarn and knit it for you again. Well, he poo-pooed it. He said he didn't like it, would never wear it, was awful, diabolical, blah, blah, blah. Well, because I was already in pain and everything, this really upset me. So I thought, right, I'm not knitting it for you, blah, blah, blah. Our older son then came downstairs and he works with his dad and I knew he would like it and I said to him, do you like this, Ryan? And he said, yeah, I really like that. I said, right, I'll knit it for you. So this is the pattern. I mean, it's perfectly plain, perfectly simple, just three colours, a piece together jumper. So this is the yarn. So we've got a dark blue, a mid blue, and the grey and actually the yarn is really soft and it has got a slight halo on it so I'm going to knit this for Ryan probably for Christmas he thinks I can knock it out in a week but unlucky Kentucky so I'm going to knit that for him for Christmas I know full well the minute I've knitted it for him my husband's going to see it and be like oh Oh, that's really nice. Can I have one too? And it'd be like, yeah. But I just liked it for the pattern. It was fourteen ninety nine, and I've got, I don't know how many balls of wool I've got in there. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I've got eight balls of wool in there. So £14 for eight balls of wool and a pattern. Not bad. I bought Ryan a jumper at Christmas. I think it cost me £20. So you can't go wrong at that, can you? Okay, I'm sorry I'm rushing. I'm going to do another video next week because I'm rushing because I've got to go and get Milo. Um, my uh, acquisition, I had to buy this. So Rupert's nursery theme is all jungle themed. So I bought this cross stitch. I haven't done cross stitch for a while. That used to be my main craft many years ago when I was in my 20s. That was my only craft I ever used to do. So his, his nursery is all jungle themed. So I bought this. So I haven't started it yet. It only arrived yesterday. I popped to Asda's today. I was going to see if I could just get like an A4 zipper pouch and I couldn't get one. So I'll have to have a route around and see what I've got that I can store this in. I'll have something I can store it in. And um, But I'm going to start this. And this is what I'm saying. This will be my project that I'll have to work on in the afternoons. But So the rest of this week, I'm going to have to work on my mum's socks. But I think this will go really nice in his little nursery. All the animals. Be really cute. And then obviously with his name and his weight and his birth date on there. It'll be really cute. And then my other acquisition that has literally just arrived uh, now, which I'm just going to open on here. Um, so if you are part of Mandy Shaw's Spotty Bag, Red Work Spotty Bag Club, you might want to head off in a minute when I start opening this if you haven't received your package yet. Um, but I've been wanting to do this for a few days. So I really apologise that this is so, so rushed. I've literally just had a text for the groomer to say Milo's ready. He wasn't meant to be ready till 12 o'clock. And I've just had a text now. And it's only, well, she texted me as I started this at five past 11 to say he's ready. So I'm going to have to come back on in a, in a few days time or probably next Monday and do another video. And hopefully show you some, maybe some progress on the cross stitch or something else that I will have done. You probably won't see the socks because my mum will hopefully have those by then. Um, but hopefully I'll have something else to show you. I did cut out a mouse, one of the Luna Lapin, the mouse, Wil Wilhelmina mouse. So I hope I'll give her some love this week. So let's have some my tea. And I want to tell you about my weekend away as well. So I'm going to open this spotty bag so if you are part of Mandy Shaw and you've not had your red spotty bag yet and you want to head off because you don't see this thank you ever so much for joining me um thank you to everybody that leaves comments I do reply to all of them and it's lovely to have you all with me it's really special that you all join me so and I will be back then next week so let me just open this up so this is a quilt nursery rhyme quilt so we've got some 
lemony sweets in the spotty bag. And looks like we've got some more red threads, some more uh, fusible uh, things, some more fabric, some more white fabric for ironing on. Oh, and it's oranges and lemons is the iron on transfer this time. So that's a nice one. Um, Mandy, she'll be back on telly on February the 26th. I won't be able to watch it because Samuel is dancing on February the 26th. I did put a couple of videos on of Samuel dancing in his last competition. Mandy has got a, um, a downloadable heart, which is £2 if you want to download a heart. And all that money goes to the earthquake in Turkey. She's just talking here about the inspiration behind the block for February which is the oranges and lemons at the bells of St. Clemens. The picture of the quilt so far. So that's the picture of the quilt so far. I've only made about two blocks so far. I'm behind, but I'm not subscribing next year. So I will work on these next year. I've already made that decision. That's the iron on transfer. They are lovely, but I can't afford to carry on. I've done it for about the last three years. Um, and then you also get a, a little, oh no, that must be the mini one. Oh my goodness, this is the iron-on transfer. That was the mini one. This is it, <laughs> big one, wow. Okay, goodness me. Oh, I like the little one as well. So you have got a small one <laughs> and you've got a big block. Wow, I thought that was the small block, but it's not. Okay, so that will have to be it for today. I'm really sad because I could have waffled on for longer about what I'm watching. Um, just one thing, you know how I'm always late for everything. I have just discovered Happy Valley. I know, I know. There's no hope for me really, is there? I mean, it's just finished, isn't it? And I've just discovered Happy Valley. There is no hope. I know. I know. I'm hopeless. I think I'm just about to watch the last episode of the first series. Hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. I know I can hear you all now. I can hear you all laughing at me. <laughs> I'm useless. have been reading some really good books and listening to some really good books. I've Since Sammy went back to school on Monday, I've been using my airpods and when i walk milo i've been sticking these in and been listening to my audible books as well which i just love but milo's going are we getting back in the car mum or are we just walking the entire length of shoebury i'm like come on milo just a bit further loving it um my weekend away with my friend was fantastic absolutely fantastic had a lovely time and we had a lovely time wandering around windsor as well on saturday afternoon i found the shop of my dreams i found a vintage charity shop and i literally had five minutes in there and I managed to buy a few things which I will have to show you now next time but oh, I said to my husband I said to Mark we have to go back there because it was just gorgeous I was just in seventh heaven I could have bought everything in there so I'm gonna have to love you and leave you and go and get my boy I do feel very lost without him actually um, and I will come back to you next week, probably towards the end of next week, actually, because Monday, I normally go and pop round to my mum's and try and spend a quality time with my mum on a Monday. Tuesday, I'm going to the opticians. I have got my lenses back in, touch wood, they're behaving, but I do want to go and get some more glasses and also some prescription sunglasses. Wednesday, some of the schools around here are striking, so I'm having some of my children during the day on Wednesday, and I'm going to go out for a cup of tea with a friend, and I might suggest we also have lunch out. Thursday, my mum and sister always come for the day on Thursday, and Friday I've got nothing on, so I might even do it Thursday morning or Friday. Um, that's it, and then we're coming up towards someone's birthday. My little boy's going to be 11 on the 12th of March, which is scary. So anyway, I will love you and leave you. Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you for all your wonderful comments. I love reading them all. It's so nice to think we're building a really nice little community here and that uh, you're enjoying seeing what I'm making and doing. And thank you for your comments last week with Samuel with his uh, little cooking, little cooking 
exploits. <laughs> it does make me laugh. Just all of a sudden, right, we're cooking and we're doing it on YouTube. Bless him. All right, I'm going to go and get my fluffy baby now and I'll see you next week. Chat to you soon. Take care. Bye.